Well, uh, this year is the second year. Uh, the first year we just had one prize winner, uh, uh, and it was a little imbalanced because the graduate works are generally slightly better than the uh, undergrads. And so we felt we'd be at a long term, you know, almost always awarding it to graduate students. But due to the very gracious generosity of Irene Ahrens, we now have an endowment that allows us to give two awards. So we now have two competitions, one for the undergraduate or an undergraduate competition and one for graduate students. A part of the agreement is we give a cash prize of $500 to each winner, but the librarian becomes the owner of the, of the artwork. So we will have these to display, you know, hopefully in perpetuity. Uh, one of the reasons for starting the art contest is that we have probably literally miles of walls in this building. It's a huge, complex building. And uh, it gives us an opportunity to you know, provide artworks in a variety of places. And so we hope to build an art collection this way over a period of time, give students recognition, and uh, give the opportunity for the nearly two million visitors a year that come to the building to see various works of art. So I guess without further ado, I would like the graduate winner, Vladimir Sherbach, to come up and <laughs> well, they're based off of a series of sketches I did, and they were different cave systems, and I've been doing a lot of stuff this semester with like imagined environments and kind of anamorphic landscapes in a way, and uh, the these particular three paintings are based off of not only cave systems but uh, deep ocean fish and like the various different luminescence of them and so that those are basically what those paintings are. <laughs> 